Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at how we can create a simple objective system that is going to be shown on the player's screen. So what I mean by that, in the top right hand corner of the screen, I am going to have a piece of text which tells the player what they need to do. And we're also going to be creating a little blueprint actor which is going to allow us to change the um, you know, the objective for the player when they walk over it. It's a really quick and really easy, simple and, you know, just great system that we can do. So let's go ahead and crack on with that. So first things first, what I need to do is actually set up a variable to hold the information for this objective system. Now, the information that we're going to be trying to hold is simply going to be a piece of text being text that is going to be a string variable. Now just for the sake of having easy access to this variable, I'm going to keep it within the third person character so I can simply just cast the third person character to get this variable. So go into your blueprints folder and then just open up your third person character blueprint. Once that's loaded, what we're going to do is go to variables in the bottom left, press a little add variable and then with this what you want to do is simply name this objective text and then with this go over to the details panel in the right top hand corner like I said we want this to be text so we are going to have this as string and then with this compile and then the default value we can define that in here now this default value is going to be whatever it is until you set it to something else so the default value for this you might want to have as um, progress through the level just like that and now if we were to display this variable on the screen and they haven't made any progress it's just going to say progress through the level so let's show you how you can actually get this displayed on your screen now so what I'm going to do is go back to my FPS HUD widget that we created earlier on in the series just double click to open this up and then in the top right I'm going to add two pieces of text one of these is going to be static and one of these is going to be dynamic. So in the top right, the first one, I'm just going to set the content for the text to objectives. Like I said, this is going to be static, so I'm not going to worry about creating any bindings. And I am just going to anchor this to the top right hand corner so it always stays there right where I want it to. And I'm also, just for the sake of things, going to give this a slightly different color to my normal text. And I'm going to give us a slight yellow color just so I can differentiate between the two. And with this, I am also going to set this to regular. And I'm just going to capitalize my objectives as well, just like that. And then dump it in there, just like that. Cool. So this next piece of text is what we're going to be creating and linking to that variable that I just set up. So the way we're going to be doing this is by using a content binding. So instead of typing in a static value like I did just then for objectives, this one, instead of this, I'm going to create a binding. And then with this binding, I'm going to tell it to cast to the third person character. And then as the third person character, I'm going to get a reference to objective text, which is the variable that we just made. So just copy what I did there. It's really simple and just chuck it in just like that. For the object wildcard down here, because it's the character, simply type in get player, player character. And then once we've done that, just go ahead and hit compile and then we're all good on that front. Now, one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just format your text to make sure you have got enough space to you know, contain whatever objective it is. So what you want to do is once again, anchor it to the top right, and then just make sure you align it to the right hand side as well. So it's always on the right hand side of the screen, and then just stretch out your box a bit like this. So it's got plenty of room. One other thing I'm going to do is set my font, uh, my font style to light. So it's a little bit smaller than the objectives, uh, the main bit there. And I'm also going to change my font size down to 20 as well just like that. So now if I compile this and then press play we should see our objective on the screen. It says progress through the level and it looks quite nice. Now the next bit and the more challenging part is going to actually be creating a blueprint that's going to change that when you walk over it. So let me show you how you can do this. So once again 
I'm just going to quickly close my HUD widget as we've done everything that we need to within there. And then I'm going to right click, add a new blueprint class, and I'm going to add a blueprint actor. This actor, I'm going to be using it because I can put all kinds of elements in there and attach some code to it. Essentially, just when they begin overlapping with a, you know, a box collision, we're going to tell it to cast to the character and change that variable. It's as simple as that. So, having done that, just call your blueprint actor, um, I don't know, objective1, and then with this, open it up. And then once you've done that, we are going to add in a box collision. Now, you could add a static mesh or something just so the player can see it, but realistically for objectives, you don't want the player to see it. Now, bear in mind, you also don't have to do it as part of a begin overlap event. You can tie it to any manner of code that you have. This is just sort of the simplest and the easiest way. And you can also use this as a template for the rest of your stuff. Anyway, so add a box collision in from your components panel. And then with this, if we just place it in our level, we can get a general idea of size. Now I'm just gonna place this on top of my little block here. So I know exactly where it is, as there's no visual representation. And then back in my blueprint window, I am just going to be scaling this up just to make it nice and easy to collect. Or not collect, but collide with rather. And that looks good to me. So now let's work on the code that actually changes your objective. So go to your event graph. And then with this for event actor begin overlap, we need to go ahead and cast to the third person character using the other actor as the object world card so that it knows if it casts to, sorry, if it collides with this other actor, the other actor being the third person character, we need to tell it to set objective text and we are pretty much just changing the value. And that literally should be it. So after they walk on this, I'm gonna tell it to change the objective to something like um, uh, go collect, uh, I don't know, go kill, the boss and just leave it at that and then also with my box collision I'm gonna make sure that my collision preset is set to overlap all dynamic so I know it's definitely going to generate the begin overlap event that we need for this to work so if I press play now and then you can see I've got my normal objective which is just progress through the level and then if I run over here you can see once I go into that it's gonna say go kill the boss and that is all good. Now, that is pretty much everything for our simple objective system. There is loads more that you could do such as um, adding in multiple objectives and you can do that by simply just duplicating this objective. So having objective one, objective two, and literally the only thing you have to do is just change this text here. It's as simple as that. So objective text I could change this to um, go kill um, I don't know Saddam let's go kill Saddam and then if I place this into the level it's just gonna work just like my other one and it's really good so if I run over this first objective second objective run over the first one and it will just keep changing just like that which is great anyway that's pretty much everything once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on patreon if you want more videos like this check out my patreon page using the link in the description to stay up to date on new releases make sure you follow us on social media